What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and boy, oh boy, this Las Vegas UFO story is freaking wild. I don't think I have ever seen in my life as many lies get exposed in such a short amount of time. This has to be one of the weirdest stories I've ever covered, and it's not because of the aliens. It's not because of the UFOs. That's like child's play compared to the random lies that the Las Vegas Metro Police Department have put out in the last week or so while, I've, while I have been covering this story. It is absolutely insane. I don't even have enough time in my day to make enough videos to explain it all. It's so much. It's every single day. There's four or five things that I'm able to debunk or I'm catching them in this lie. They're walking back that lie. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. And looking at this happen and play out in real time, it just, it has an effect on you psychologically. It starts making you look at everything in a different light. And you look at law enforcement like, I don't think I could trust y'all anymore. You know what I mean? But of course, I know everyone has, or not everyone, but some people have a problem trusting law enforcement. But I mean from a whole different angle now. But anyways, after claiming that they were not investigating this story, I, I, I don't even know where to begin. I seriously do not know where to begin. And this does not happen to me often. This is probably the first time this has ever happened. And I'm not going to stop the video and do it over. So let's begin here. <laughs> the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. They have claimed that they are not doing an investigation behind the UFOs and the aliens that were allegedly spotted in this family's backyard. Now, on the news, there's this character, this guy, who claims to be an ex-Las Vegas police officer. He claims that he's been aiding in the investigation that's going on surrounding this case. But Las Vegas Metro Police Department claims there's no investigation. Meanwhile, this ex-officer who used to be part of the gang unit in Las Vegas, he claims that he's aiding in the investigation and he's been dropping information here and there on the news. And for the life of me, I don't understand why he's on the news acting as if there's an investigation going on and the Las Vegas M Metro Police Department is refusing to acknowledge that there's an investigation going on, claiming that there isn't. But now, they've acknowledged that there is an investigation. It's like, I want you all to understand that you can go back through all of these videos. I've been reporting to you all the actual information that is out there, the information that is being given. It's not me changing this story up every day. It's not me changing this story up every five minutes. I'm bringing you all what is happening. So when you see four videos in a day and the stories swapping back and forth, that's on them. It's not on me. The Las Vegas Metro Police Department claimed there's no investigation. Now they're acknowledging that they are investigating this story and they've acknowledged that they're investigating it as if it is a legitimate story because they think there's some truth behind it. Yeah, let that sink in. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, right? So that is not the only thing that is getting acknowledged. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this clip and then I'll be back with more because I can feel a rant coming and I don't want this video to last for an hour. We're going to play this clip. You hit that like button. Your hands are free right now. You're watching the video. What are you doing? Hit that like button. Drop a comment. Let's watch this clip and then I'll be right back to run my mouth some more. So Nancy, what are the police saying? Because honest to goodness, this has gone on for a long time with silence from the police and also the redacted video, which again, I say just adds fuel to the fire. Yeah, yeah. And Ashley, we are getting no indications from police that they are investigating this as a hoax. They are taking this seriously, taking this family seriously. And they've also confirmed that yes, they did put up cameras here around June 10th. 
Um, and they sent us a statement. I want to read that to you. That statement, after the initial contact with Las Vegas Metro Police Department, the family at the residence reported they heard noises in their yard and were afraid for their safety. We offered to put up cameras, put them up to ease their concerns or of someone coming to harass or harm them. Um, but Ashley, earlier today when I spoke with the father, when he came out to get the mail, he said that the camera was taken down and even he doesn't know why they were taken down. But they are still concerned about their safety. Well, Nancy, thanks for doing that. Not for lack of trying. I saw you walking up to that house to try to get to the bottom of it all. Appreciate all your hard work. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> Do you all understand my frustration now? After all of this time, six videos later, seven videos later, the Las Vegas Metro Police Department comes out and is like, all right, yeah, we put the cameras up. I mean, we already kind of knew that. But then again, now, <laughs> this, is, this is why my mind, this is the way my mind works. Now that they're acknowledging that they put the cameras up, I'm starting to think that they didn't put the cameras up because you have to remember they've denied this for the longest. And then they kind of acknowledged, yeah, we took the cameras down, but they never formally acknowledged putting them up. I think, and I don't know, but it seems like as soon as we, the internet, we start poking holes in their stories, then they start changing their story. So now I'm wondering, because everyone's been questioning, you know, if the Las Vegas Metro Police Department did not put up these cameras, then obviously some agency did. Now, if that's the case and the Las Vegas police don't know about it, then that tells you it must be some type of secretive agency that took interest in the story and put up the surveillance cameras. So now that people formed that theory, and that's one of my theories, and we started exploring the story from that angle, now Las Vegas Metro Police Department is like, wait, wait, wait. No, don't, don't even think about it that hard, okay? Don't think about things that deep. We did it. We did it. And it's like, uh, why didn't you just acknowledge this from the beginning? They could have acknowledged this from day one. It would have wiped out a lot of speculation, would have wiped out a lot of the theories that are floating around, and it would have made this story seem more grounded. But no. They lied and they lied and they lied and they denied it. And now it's causing everyone to look at this story even harder. And I can't help but question if that's what they want us to do because some of the lies that have been told are just so blatantly, obviously a lie that it makes me think that either they think that we're just all completely dumb idiots or they're purposely kind of leaving us a rope you know, putting the bait out there for us in a way. But yeah, now, yeah, we put up the cameras. Sorry, guys, for lying about it for two weeks. It's like, what in the hell, man? But like I was talking about in a previous video, it's the timing of when they took the cameras down that we have to look at now. Because they told this family, oh, we're going to put up cameras to protect you from people who are going to ask you about UFOs. And then... They took the cameras down once the story went viral. Isn't that weird? It's almost like the excuse you gave was a BS excuse, and we knew that from the very moment we heard it, or at least I did. Oh, never mind the violent crime going on all around America. Never mind the victims of horrible crimes. We're not going to put up surveillance cameras for them. But this family that claims they saw aliens in their backyard, they need protection. We need to get cameras all around that house to protect them from people asking questions about aliens. Not to maybe see and spy on this family and what they got going on. Not to maybe see if the creatures come back. No, we got to protect them. But once the story goes viral and people start showing up, we got to take the cameras down because we don't want people to know that we put up cameras at this house. Hmm... It's like the conspiracy theory writes itself when it comes to this story. You know, it, it all sounds like one big conspiracy theory. Like this sounds like a movie. In fact, maybe I should get to writing a story about this because this is giving me a lot of inspiration. 
But all in all, I'm glad that I'm keeping on this story because it's just another one of those stories that regardless if I understand that some of you all probably probably aren't even interested in aliens and UFOs, but let this story be a lesson learned for you all about how the mainstream media is willing to operate and how law enforcement agencies are willing to operate. They're willing to lie to your face for whatever reason. And this story has shined a spotlight on that, if anything. And like I've told you all, I, my interest in this story has gone on from the interest in aliens. I'm more interested in the corruption here because I want to know what and why these cameras were put up, why we were lied to about it, and the fact that they came and got the cameras down before, you know, everything got wild at this house, it tells you that their excuse was a lie. But I also wonder, did you get what you were looking for on these cameras? If I was this family, I would probably move because there ain't no way that they didn't come and put microphones and little mini cameras in your house. If you allowed one of them to use your bathroom, you better, uh, <laughs> I would be all around that house right now looking for cameras and stuff. But hey, it is what it is. I anticipate that this story is going to get even weirder because this story, like I keep telling you all, it has layers. And every time you get down to the bottom of one thing, another thing arises. So now we've gotten to the bottom of the surveillance cameras, supposedly. I, I hope this is the last story we're told. But then again, the story may change tomorrow. But for right now, we think we got to the bottom of it. The Las Vegas Metro Police Department finally acknowledges that they did it. And now that they have acknowledged it, I'm questioning still if they really did it because why lie from the beginning? You let me know what you think though down in the comments. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.